Auto Line on the Road from CES is brought to you by our signature sponsor, Magna. I'm talking with Frank Klein today. He is the president of Complete Vehicle at Magna Steyr. And Frank, you are in charge of one of the hottest commodities in the automotive industry right now. As a contract manufacturer, you must have every EV startup just about knocking on your door. Yeah, well, it is actually a very exciting time right now. As you know, uh, mobility is in a very huge transition phase. And as a contract manufacturer and a company that is capable to fully engineer, test, validate vehicles, uh, yes, we are in contact with uh, uh, the traditional OEMs with a lot of new startups uh, because they require a company that has the capability, that has the know-how to support them from the beginning all the way to the end. I think that's an important point that you just made there, because a lot of people think, oh, Magda Steyr, they've got an assembly plant, they assemble cars. As you're talking about, you can provide complete program management to these companies. Exactly. That's what it is. I mean, a customer typically comes with an idea um, to us and, and we support them all the way along. We have a design team that can help them even design the vehicle. We fully engineer the vehicle. Um, and even testing. Testing is a very, very complex issue. When you talk about battery electric vehicles, there are a lot of new requirements out there for all the different markets. And we can, we can meet all these demands. And then eventually, if the customer is asking for it, we can do the investment for the production line and we can launch a production. And one thing you should know, we've already built more than 3.7 million vehicles. So uh, we know what we're talking about. You, you know a thing or two about putting them all together. Yes, and, and yes. When I look at the list, it's impressive. You build cars for Toyota and BMW, for Jaguar, for Mercedes-Benz. Soon you're going to start with Fisker. I, I guess my first question is, how full is that plant? Or is that going to fill it up with Fisker? Yeah, well, as you know, we, we not only have one plant. Uh, we have a plant here in Austria. We have a paint shop in Slovenia. We also have a plant in China. Um, and um, I think what is very important is the flexibility that we have. Um, when you look at the capacity, um, when we add everything together, we could produce 350, 400,000 400, units per year. Uh, but that's not it. It's not just the volume. It is the flexibility. The customers that are coming to us, they're all often asking for a very steep ramp up, uh, very flexible, uh, very flexible production lines. And as you might know, for example, we're building a BMW product and the Toyota product on the same assembly line. We're using one paint shop here in Graz to build or to paint all these different models. Um, and that's that's very unique. That is reducing the cost for our customer. It's increasing the flexibility. Um, and that's, I think, why we are the preferred partner for traditional OEMs and for new entrants. I, I'm sure that's why Fisker came to Magna, because of the complete services that you can do. I, I guess I'm curious, do you handle logistics too, purchasing and, and all that? Do you manage that for them as well? It depends on what the customer is asking for. But yes, we do have our own purchasing department. We have OEMs and new entrants where we do purchasing for them. We also do purchasing support. Of course, we handle all the logistics, inbound logistics, outbound logistics. Uh, when you look at our customers, they, they all have different demands. So we have to meet the demand. Uh, but yes, we can do everything that a traditional OEM can do um, from engineering all the way to manufacturing. I, I've been to the plant. I was there a couple of years ago. I was uh, really impressed with the flexibility. Uh, internal combustion, electric, uh, different brands. Uh, as, as you mentioned, you have different lines and different buildings and the like. But nonetheless, I don't think there's another assembly operation on the face of the planet that has got everything that you offer. Yes. And I mean, as you might know, I'm now in the automotive industry for close to 29 years. So uh, I, I, I often say I, I've pretty much seen it all. So um, and I agree with you. It is a very, very unique setup that Magna Steyr has. As you know, the company already exists for over 120 years. So it's, uh, I mean, there is a heritage out there that is outstanding. 
if you just look at one example, the G-Class, uh, we um, produce this car now for over 41 years. More than 400,000 400, units have left the plant here in Graz. So yeah, it is an incredible know-how. And when I look at the workforce that we have, the engineers, uh, they have this capability to really support all the OEMs and the entrants that are out there. Let's talk a little bit about CES, since that's what all these interviews are really focusing on. What is Magnus Steyer talking about in terms of Magnus CES presentation? Is there anything new there? Well, I think the new thing is that uh, when you look at all the new trends that are out there, um, as I mentioned, uh, the automotive industry is in a transition phase. There is more, uh, there is a digital transformation. There is this really big environmental impact uh, also, health and well-being is is very important, and this has a direct impact on electrification, um, uh, automated driving, and certainly new mobility. So, we as Magna Steyr are also preparing us for this new trend, or, or for this transformation. Um, so, when you look on the engineering side, uh, pretty much fifty percent of the engineering work we're doing right now is already directly related to electric vehicles, battery electric vehicles. Uh, also new mobility, when you, when you, for example, talk to Fisca, they're not just developing a new car, they're really looking at new mobility solutions and that requires us to be able to support them, not just to engineer and to manufacture, but really work with them and help them be successful right from the start. Frank, as you uh, manufacture these electric cars, and I know you already make uh, the Jaguar I-Pace in the plant, uh, yes. are you finding differences in assembly? It, everyone talks about it being simpler. And I'm also curious, uh, so many of these new EV startups are going with what they call the skateboard. Does that impact how you plan the, the manufacturing, engineering, and assembly of an electric vehicle? It is actually not that different than building a regular combustion engine vehicle. The reason why for Magna Steyr it's not that big of a difference is because we do not assemble our own engines. A traditional OEM often faces the situation that when they are going from a combustion engine vehicle to a battery electric vehicle, they have to completely change the engine assembly and manufacturing. We don't have that. So for us building the body shop of a vehicle, painting the vehicle and finally assembling the vehicle, it doesn't really make a big difference. Our key asset that we have is the flexibility. When you, for example, take a look at I-PACE and E-PACE, they all go through the same assembly line. And the customer basically can tell us one day he wants to have X percent of this and Y percent of the other, and he can change it. And that is a flexibility that requires us to have a flexible um, assembly, paint shop and body shop with all our customers. And that is really what they want, a steep ramp up, flexible uh, production as we go along. And that's really the key asset that we have. Frank, I've asked you a lot of questions here, but I'm wondering, am I missing anything? Would you like to point out anything about Magna Steyr? No, I think, um, I think it is very important when you look at the customers that we had in the previous years, these are all premium customers. And what we were able to deliver is a premium quality. And premium quality, not just in every single product, but also when it comes to engineering and launching these products. And we're looking forward to doing this for more customers. Uh, we have invested in the past. Uh, we have the capacity and um, CES, for example, is a platform where we can show our capabilities um, and hopefully have uh, more discussions with new entrants and traditional OEMs. Okay, one follow up on that then. Are you looking for new customers? Because as is normal in any kind of uh, business operation, you lose some customers, you get some customers. So is it from that exactly. standpoint or yes. are you even thinking of making a third assembly plant? Well, first of all, I, it's, it's absolutely what you say. You usually have a customer for one or two or even three life cycles, but then customers change. That's absolutely normal. When you look at our history, we had a lot of different OEMs, they come and go. So it is our task every single year to book business with new customers. That's absolutely clear. And yes, if there are customers that want us to expand our operation 
in other regions of, uh, of the world, we're willing to do this because as you know, we're a company and that's the great thing about being part of Magna International. Uh, we are a worldwide uh, acting company. So um, we, we follow our customers. We go where the customer needs us. Well, good. With that, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, uh, Frank Klein, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you very much.